In this video, I talk about boobies. There's a new interim captain on board. A nasty experience in a marina. And a damage report. Again. Bummer. Good morning. It's now Thursday morning. And the marina is waking up. Um, as usual, I was uh, awake pretty early. It was uh, 5.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, that's just my biological uh, rhythm. Uh, the last couple of months, uh, I'm used to getting up early because of my work. Uh, but now, yeah, I don't work because of my foot, so uh, I don't get physically tired. And yeah, the the, the one side effect of that is uh, you you're going to sleep less. Well, at least I do. <laughs> but hey, um, the marina around me is uh, waking up as well. Um, and there is, well, I think, uh, kind of a situation uh, occurring here. But let me show you. I will go up top and uh, show you what I mean. As you can see, um, the harbor is pretty packed. It's loaded. And, uh, yeah, if you like that boat and you want to go out, that's pretty tight. And over there, there, it's even tighter. So I'm not sure what the deal is here, but <laughs> I'm glad I'm staying put. Uh, at least uh, until Sunday, so we'll see. It's a bit windy, it's chilly. It's about 15 degrees. It will warm up a bit, but yeah, it's not really nice uh, summer weather here, but well, we have to deal with it, so let's do that. Good morning, guys. It's now Friday morning, 10 o'clock, and it's leaving day. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm leaving with uh, mixed emotions, uh, I'll be honest. Um, about the marina. Let's, uh, let me go outside for a bit. Thing is, it's a really lovely marina. It's really good. Uh, the facilities are top notch. Uh, yeah, can't say anything about it uh, other than praise. Uh, I mean, yeah, the toilets and the showers, it's all very clean. Uh, bear in mind, uh, everything is run by uh, volunteers. Uh, even the harbor masters are volunteers here. Um, so, yeah, that's all good. But the thing is, in holiday season, and now it's Friday morning, uh, a lot of boats have left already. And as you can see behind me, there's one leaving as well. Um, but in the weekend, starting tomorrow morning or this afternoon already, uh, boats will come in uh, to seek uh, to seek a, a docking and uh, enjoy Amsterdam for the weekend. And that means they will pack jam this marina to the brim. Um, if you look behind me there, this is the border way going out that way. Um, they will stock it up to here. So if you're behind there, you can't leave. You're done, you're stuck. Um, the other thing is, you get damage. Uh, boats hitting other boats. And I talked to the harbor master about that and he gave me a weird, weird, weird explanation. He said, well, it's tradition. And I'm like, what? A tradition? Well, a tradition starts when something fun or, or nice happens and you go like, well, hmm, let's repeat that. And that's how a tradition is born. This, if you pack jam it to the brim, uh, like sardines in a can, uh, you people get annoyed. Uh, even one person got aggressive. Um, and it's no longer fun. So I don't get it. Don't call it a tradition. It's not tradition. It's, it's uh, pure commerce. They have officially 120 uh, docking places here. But in the weekend, when it's in, especially when it's good weather and it's the holiday season, they put over 200 boats here, in here. So uh, I, I said, well, what about the damage uh, that occurs? And the harbor master said, well, that's for the insurance to figure out. And I'm like, yeah, but in a year, 
a lot of damage will happen here in this marina, only at this marina uh, by itself. Uh, I'm not talking about other marinas, I don't know. But that means the price of insurance will go up uh, a bit uh, by all the damage caused by your policy here. And he's like, well, that's how it goes. And I'm like, hmm, okay. I thought that was really weird, so I'm like, okay. Uh, I made up my mind, I'm leaving today. I have to be uh, uh, on my old mooring place uh, on the Amstel for two weeks. And um, so I have to leave. But I will not be back here during uh, the holiday season. It's too crowded, it's, it's um, yeah. Uh, too high of a risk of damage to my boat. Uh, they hit it already three times. I have a big scratch on my boat. I know my boat needs to get uh, fixed by uh, by a wharf. I know that uh, the guy in question uh, came uh, came back to me. Well, he was from Denmark. He apologized, and I said, "Well, okay, thank you. That's it. The end of it." Uh, he was he was pretty. Uh, um, how do you say that? He was willing. Uh, to, to, to make it uh, an insurance uh, thing, but I'm like, well, hey, come. No, that's uh, in, in this case, my boat, it's fine. If they dam damaged uh, a bit more, a different, uh, different story, but hey, that's how it goes. So, um, yeah, oh, I have something else to tell you. Uh, in about an hour, uh, a friend of mine will join me on my boat uh, and uh, I will take him on a tour. Um, he's French, his name is Sylvain, Sylvain, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that's my name, <laughs> really funny guy, um, he's French, like I said, uh, he's from the town of Brest, <laughs> how do you say that, um, I don't know, Brest, Brest, ah, let's, let's stick to Brest, <laughs> more fun uh, and he's living here in Amsterdam as well uh, I know uh, the guy for a couple of years he's an awesome guy uh, yeah and he wanted to, to see my boat uh, one day and I said well uh, I have to go to my uh, old mooring uh, today and he said well can I join you I said sure so I will put him to work <laughs> well a bit maybe but uh, I have to be careful uh, I don't want to drop him overboard so we'll see uh, how that goes um, it's a bit windy but it's not as windy as yesterday and it's dry for the moment so that's a good thing so uh, yeah I will be leaving in 90 minutes or so and I will take you with me of course okay, guys. so as you might know or not know but I will tell you now uh, I inspect my boat every day and I was talking about uh, damage here in the in the harbor, and sure enough, someone broke this. And the harbor master said, "Yeah, that's for insurance. But if they leave and nobody knows it, and nobody tells me about it, how will I get this paid for?" Look at that, they're sending me off. <laughs> awesome. So, the Lady of Life has a new interim captain. Yeah, there he is, Sylvain. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? I, I, I'm taking my first uh, diving lesson. And you're shitting yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> But it's a nice feeling. Yeah. The, the lady of life uh, is a heavy woman. Yeah. But she, she's nice with me. She has a big ass. She for sure. Has <laughs> now we're now at the uh, Amsterdam Rijn Canal. Having a bit of fun. Oh, sorry guys. Look at this. So yeah. I think. So, what do you think? Will you pass your exam as a captain? 
as soon as it stays straight, like this uh, canal, the Rhine, uh, Rhine canal, right? Amsterdam Rhine canal. Yeah, that's okay. But I will not go on my uh, own sea uh, in the time. Uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. I it's like learnable. it flat. I like it flat. <laughs> well, that's that's today. It is flat. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. More coming up later. Bye. And we're back. Well, almost. Do the tact anything, uh, Sylvain. Huh? Come on. No, you don't want to sink. I don't want you to sing as well. <laughs> That's a Nick thing. <laughs> so there is the Utrechtse Brug. Behind it is uh, the boat of Pieter Irma. I'm going to moor there. There was a guy on the bridge asking me where I wanted, wanted to go. And I said Utrechtse Brug. I said, oh, okay. If I go to the right, I have to pay 45 euros a day. So let's not do that. Guys, hello there. Let me get to you. <laughs> I think there's a squall coming behind me. Whew. Um, well, as you can see, I'm back at my old mooring place here at the river Amstel. I will be here for two weeks. And after that, we'll continue cruising. Don't know where to go. Haven't got a clue yet. <laughs> no, I'm going to stay here for two weeks. Uh, um, do some chores for uh, my landlord. <laughs> No, that's all good. Um, and yeah, uh, just basically relax. Uh, I need to do that anyway because of my foot, so yeah, that's it. As long as it stays dry, I mean, come on, please blow over. This summer sucks though. It's not good. Uh, apparently, the predictions for the second half of the month August are good, but that's uh, almost three weeks uh, from now. So, <sighs> boring. No, the weather is not cooperating, it's not good, but it is what it is. Um, if it rains, I'm gonna go inside. I'm high and dry and uh, loving it still, so no worries. Uh, that's all good, but uh, we could do with a bit better weather. Come on. Zeus, where are you? <laughs> Help us out a bit, Zeus. Come on. This is shit. But, okay, it is what it is. Well, guys, um,. I hope you like this video. It's a bit shorter than you might have been used for me, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm cruising on my own, so I cannot film everything I do. Uh, I just have my phone as a camera. Uh, I don't have a drone. I don't have expensive, expensive or fancy camera equipment. It's just me and my phone, so please bear that in mind. <laughs> So if you, if you like my videos guys, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, uh, please comment about my videos as well, because I can learn from it. Uh, so I can create some co content you really like to see. So help me out a bit, please. <laughs> I'm, uh, I started this channel with uh, no subscribers um, and now I'm at 91 or something, I believe, yeah, 90, 91. So that's a huge plus. Thank you very much for that. But I could do with a bit more. <laughs> Please guys, help me out. Oh, that's a good uh, app workout. Wow, okay. <laughs> guys, take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.